your discretion. If you're listening to this, you are the resistance. Hey everybody, it's the Fobra. And it is about 40 degrees out. And I'm rocking my full winter gear on my brand new Oxford heaters. Um, sports heated grips. So far I really like them. The only thing is I'm looking at the left hand grip. It's not the glue didn't really set it into place. I didn't use the super glue they sent me. Um, we use some RTV so we're going to have to try something else. The throttle side is fine. It's really cold. I got Mark behind me. We're doing a special special project. That's why I'm taking the bike out. But <clears throat> it's funny. Most of the guys here have uh, have bought heated gear, and I bought heated grips after Night Loki has them on his ZX14, and uh, Dodge Rider, thanks to him and for all his videos talking about it, and also um, Wild Bill has them on his. Sorry about the wind noise, my glasses are fogging up. <coughs> but uh, <coughs> yeah, I like them so far. Actually, I had them at 50%. And then I toned them down. I had to turn them down to 30 because my hands were too warm. These are with my Dionese clutch D dries. So they're keeping, they're definitely keeping my hands warm. I got to tell you, maybe a little too warm today. But you know, I'm not going super fast. I'm only doing about 40 miles an hour. And now I got to turn around here. So <clears throat> what I'm going to do next is I'm going to talk a little bit how about how we installed them and how the install went and. Uh, any things you should look out for. So we're gonna cut it here, and I'm gonna go where I have to go. Hey everybody, so we're back in the garage here, and I'm gonna talk to you a little bit about these heated grips. Um, I took that video a couple of weeks ago before all the snow came. Unfortunately, those are the only two wheels I've been on recently, my snowblower. But uh, I'll tell you how I, f uh, you know, how I feel about my heated grips and why I chose them. The decision whether to go with heated grips or heated gear, if you do ride in the winter, it's really a personal choice what you want to do. Um, heated gear is going to run you a considerably more money. These are the, like I said, these are the Oxford. Here's the box. Oxford Heaters Premium Sports Heated Grips. Um, really, really like them. They were about $90 at Revzilla.com. And heated gear between the single or dual controller and whether you get gloves or gloves in a liner or gloves, liner, and pants, whatever, you're going to spend between $200 and possibly $350, $400 for that whole setup. Um, but there are pros and cons for each. Uh, Windy D and Mark both went with the heated gear. Windy has gloves, and Mark has gloves in a liner, whereas Night Loki went for heated grips. I also talked to Dodge Rider about his Oxford grips. I also talked to Wild Bill about his Oxford grips. And Oxford has a really good reputation out there for their products. I went with these because the part of my body that gets cold during winter riding is my hands. Even though I have my Dionese clutch d dries which are amazing gloves, um, once you get 40 degrees and below, it's still you still tend to get a little bit cold on the hands. So with this, I'm able to warm the hands up, and what I found is that these gloves do a decent job of holding the heat in and uh, keeping me comfortable. So for me, this was the choice. You have to kind of, you know, think about what you want and what direction you want to go. Once again, I got to thank Night Loki for doing the install on this. Um, you know, the guy's like family. But if you ever met the guy, he's incredibly meticulous. His attention to detail is second to none, probably rivals most of the OEM manufacturers. So when he does something, he really does it right. He does it perfect. You know, he, he holds very high standards. So when we did the install on this, he wanted to make it look as OEM as possible. Speaking of OEM, just put this down. These are the OEM Honda grips. The same grips they use on almost every Honda. This is the throttle side. This is the clutch side. Uh, same grips that were on my F4i that I actually swapped out for um, gel grips on the other bike. So you could see, let's go clutch to clutch, the Oxford grips are a little bit thicker. Notice that Oxford has a texture to theirs. This is specific to the sport grip versus the OEM, which is pretty much smooth. So you get a, a little bit of a better feel on here. It's slightly larger in diameter. I didn't really feel it larger in diameter when I was riding it, but, you know, who knows? I don't know. It, it felt pretty good when I was riding it that one time. Um, they also come with, the, the grips will be changed if you buy the 
um, the adventure, the touring, or the cruiser, and even the scooter grips that they have. But the brain here is the same. This is the version 8 controller. And the version 8 controller has the auto shutoff. Uh, it's also it's the intelligent uh, controller. So if the bike isn't running, it'll actually shut itself off. It has power right now. I do not have a relay. So I can turn it on. It's at 30%, 40, 50, is that 75, and 100%. It also has, if you touch it once and hold it, it'll shoot up 100%. And if you touch it and hold it, it'll shut it off. Um, if it's on, the way to shut it off is just hit the minus and it'll shut itself off there too. Um, I like it because the LEDs are very bright. It's very easy to get a gloved hand on it. No problems there. I didn't have to fumble or, you know, take my attention off the road to use it. So that's a positive. The only negative thing I have to say about it is this bracket. Um, I really wish it was black anodized or powder coated or something like that to match my bike better. It only comes in silver. Not the end of the road. It does. Ha I do have some silver on the bike. It kind of matches, but it would have been nice the other way. Let's talk about how it's wired. The controller gets connected to both of the grips. So this wiring, you can see it's very carefully out of the way and going around and it, it snakes along the factory OEM wire clamp and goes underneath this fairing right here where it connects. All three connect here, then you have the one wire that's going, the power and ground goes underneath and I've removed the seat here to show you, power and ground, that's it. It has a mini fuse built into it, five amps because the whole system only draws four amps and that's it and you're good to go. Um, they do come a little bit longer. There's a lip here that extends out to about, about here, maybe about half a centimeter or something. And we found that we had to cut that off for the OEM barns to, to fit. But it does have that line right there. It's easy to cut, nice and flush. You can actually go as far as the heating elements if you want to, but I didn't have to. And you see it has a nice OEM look. Like I said, I do like them. They warm up fairly quickly, and they should do a nice job. So if you're considering heated grips for your bike for the winter. You should definitely give Oxford a check, uh, a look because they can uh, you know, they do a nice job. And for the money, it's it's a pretty good, seems like a pretty good deal. All right, if you have any questions or comments, put them down below. I'll do my best to answer them. And uh, if you're able to ride, I don't know, stay warm. I'm hoping to get out soon. All right, take care, everybody. See ya. <clears throat> I was talking to a friend around, around, around your knee. And uh, she had a like friend. This. Uh, that she knows. The great thing about the heavy duty Velcro system that I can, and, uh, first of all, you read about all these people who are protesting and some retailers being open on um, it's